In this tutorial I'm going to go over the process of creating labels using Microsoft Word and uh, we are going to create labels using a list from Excel. So let's assume that in Excel we have a file very similar to this. We have a file on the first row with the first name of the customer, last name, telephone number, state address, city, etc. And we have a lot of customers. So what we want to do is we want to create labels in Microsoft Word, for example Avery 5162 or any type of label out there. So the process to do that is uh, basically we need to have the Excel file with the names and then we need to have the word processor, in this case Microsoft Word 2010. The process is the same for Office 2007 as well. So what we need to do is uh, go under mailings and I always recommend that we do the mail merge by using the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So we'll click on step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and then go under labels. Once you're under labels you'll click on next here on the bottom right and basically just follow the steps one after the other this wizard. So we'll click on start the document so at this point we are telling the system that we are going to create labels and then we are going to start the document. Then in this next step we are going to choose the layout of this document. So since we are doing labels we are going to be needing to click on the label options. So we'll click on the label options. And then we are going to switch from Microsoft here the label vendor to the vendor of our label. So we, for example, we have Avery US Letter and this information you find it from the package of labels that you buy from the store. So in our case we're going to go to 5162. That's one of the most common ones. So we'll click OK and at this point the next option is to select the recipients. So basically we just told the system uh, the previous step that the type of labels that we're going to use is going to be the Avery 162. Now we click on select recipients and then we're going to choose an existing list. You can also use Outlook contacts or you can create a new list. In our case and the easiest is to have an Excel file where on the first row you put like first name, last name and all these labels for the fields. So now we can browse to find the list of names and we're going to go under documents and here we have customer list. Under the customer list we're going to choose the tab that has the actual customers. So usually it's going to be the first one and then on the first one these are all our customers. You can sort them, you can find duplicates and all that other type of stuff. So we go on OK and then the next step here is to arrange the labels. This is the step that we actually go into the document that we created and then we insert the fields. So what we do here is we click on insert field name. So we go to the first label and then we choose insert field name and let's say we want to put the first name. Then we put a space. Then we choose insert field again and then choose last name then uh, so in this case it'll be first and last name on the first line then on the second line we want let's say the street address then on the third line we want the city comma state and then zip if you want the first name highlighted or bold or however then you can click on home and then just make this bold and then all the label, the first and last names in the labels will be marked as bold. Now we go here under our label options and for the sake of recording this is, I have to scroll down but usually you would not have to scroll down and then what we need to do and this is the tricky part instead of clicking on preview labels it, we have to click on update all labels and this is where most people get stuck and then labels don't work. So update all labels. It's the necessary uh, step after you fill out the first label. What that does is that it populates the rest of the labels in that page in our form here. So we click on update all labels and notice that the codes will be posted on all the different other labels. 
Then we preview the labels and that will display just the names of the customers. And then final step is edit it or modify things here, but it's not really recommended. Then we click on complete the merge. This is the step that is going to link the labels that we created or the form of the labels that we created with that Excel file or the data. Now you could either print and then it will print on the printer with your labels or I'll choose edit individual labels. In this case you get to kind of preview the labels first before you actually waste the paper. So we edit individual labels, OK, and notice that our labels have been created. And all we have to do is put a stack of them in the printer and print them out. So that's it. The, this is how you create labels.